Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how I made the fog in my latest rendering. So, let's get into it. So, here's my scene. It's pretty simple. Just some floor panels, railings, a couple lights, and a character. And here's my camera over here. And this alien queen is something I found on Sketchfab. I'll put a link in the description to give credit to the artist if you want to check it out. I didn't need the body and the tail, so I deleted everything except the arms and the head. I'm not going to discuss lighting in this video. I'll make a separate video about that. But basically, I just have a, a light panel here with an emission shader applied to it and then I have an area light in front of it and the same thing on the other side and if I switch the viewport display to rendered you can see how it looks and you might be wondering how I got the environment to be black instead of gray just come over here to the world properties and click on this color bar and then it'll be up here in the gray somewhere just drag it all the way down to the black okay I'm gonna switch back to the material preview and show you how to make the fog so the first thing you need to do is create a cube and then scale it up so that all of your scene elements fit inside the cube. Doesn't have to be really huge. It just needs to be big enough so that everything is inside the cube, including your camera. So something like that should probably work. Now, let's see, looks like my cube is in here. I'm going to drag it out and drop it into the scene collection. And I'm going to name it Fog. Next, with the cube selected, I'm going to go to the Shading tab. And I'm going to create a new material. And I will call it... Fog. Next, I'm going to delete the principled BSDF. Then I'll shift A and search for a principled volume. And I'll plug the volume into volume. And now we have fog. Um, you want to be in the rendered display so that you can see it. You can see right now we have some really, really thick fog. One thing you can do to make it a little bit easier to see what you're doing is go over here to render properties and switch from cycles to EV so you get a real-time render preview. And now, like I said, it's really, really thick. So you can come down here to the density and you can drop it down. You can also change the color if you want. And I mean, that gives you fog, but I wanted something a little more interesting, so. I added a few more nodes down here. Um, so shift A and I'm going to add a noise texture and then shift A again and I'm going to add color ramp. I'll plug the noise into the color ramp and the color ramp into the density. And 
And on the noise texture, I'm going to set the detail to 15. And then on the color ramp, if you click on the white slider and then click on the color bar and you drag the slider down to the black, the closer you get to black, the less density you'll have in the fog until you have completely, there's just no fog. So you want to put it somewhere here in the gray area. And then you can use the black slider, and drag it over to add some contrast. As, you, as I drag it over closer to the gray, you see the fog starts breaking up. So depending on how much fog you want, you know, set your black slider appropriately. I think I had mine probably somewhere in this area. And then you'll also want to play with the scale and the roughness. Uh, for my render, I had the scale set to 8, and the roughness I had it at 0.683. So depending on the type of fog you want to make, you'll need to experiment with these different settings and make adjustments here with the, with the sliders to uh, get the fog you're looking for. So once you get something you like, just switch back to Cycles and Render. And here's my final rendering. I added some glow around the lights with the glare node and the compositor, but I'll cover that in another video when I talk about lighting. So, that's about it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.